As the government looks for ways to reduce its fiscal deficit in the financial year 2019-2020, uh, the National Treasury will be expected to outline ways it intends to finance the almost 3 trillion shillings budget, with the Cabinet Secretary now expected to come up with austerity measures that will help reduce the burden on Kenyans. While appearing before the Parliamentary Finance Committee, the Acting Cabinet Secretary for Treasury, Ukuri Atani, hinted at reducing an essential expenditure at both the county and the national government. The most feasible thing and the most rational uh, initial uh, starting point is to may live within our, our means. And we are looking at seriously areas of uh, travels, both domestic and uh, uh, foreign travels. Uh, the CS also has his attention drawn to the issue of pending bills, which he says have been a thorn in the flesh of the national treasury. Ukur singled out county government bills accusing county administrations for budgeting on funds they do not have, as well as over-committing on projects, which is significantly increasing their pending bills. As budgetary matters stand, the country is using more than half its budget on recurring expenditure. Perhaps another reason why President Uhuru Kenyatta's government has been accused of hitting the debt ceiling as a result of over-borrowing. What has happened is that counties have been budgeting for funding which they don't have. We have expenditure in excess of... 100 billion that counties have not paid. This holding the public at the private sector resources. Now the CS, however, found himself at loggerheads with the legislators who wanted to know what the National Treasury is pushing for the repeal of the interest rate capping loan. I don't believe that there is any ordinary Kenyan in this country who will sit back and watch members of parliament removing the interest caps so that we can allow banks to go and enjoy these super profits. So it uh, appears there is uh, an unholy alliance between the, 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 the banks and the, and the Treasury. And advise the Treasury team that this is not your uh, business to, to persuade us on behalf of banks. Uh, the finance bill is expected to go through the second reading in Parliament this week before it's sent to the designated committee for amendments and returned to the Parliament for the third reading. Jimmy Bogo, K24 Business.